Hello every crafter, today we are going to be talking about something. Away from the machine, this will come under useful tools. These are pom-pom makers. You can get them in different sizes, shapes. This one does a heart, but you can do different ones. They're all good. Yes, you can do it the old fashioned way by cutting a cereal box into a circle and wrapping it around and going that way or we can learn about these little pom-pom makers so let's have a quick go first of all you'll want some yarn any four ply will do double knit whichever any yarn for this use your scrapples up there not the thing that you're going to make a jumper with um so what can you make with pom-poms once you are done making your pom-pom you can put them on the edge of your blanket. You can make a rug out of them. You can embellish pillows with them. Do what you want. So let's just show you this device. This actually comes apart into two. And it's got two halves. We'll just put that back together for now. And we're going to be working on the one side. All you have to do, quite literally, is wrap it so you're just gonna hold that hold your working yarn work over it hold your towel even work over it and you're just gonna keep going round until it's nice and full i'm gonna fast forward to this bit Now, once you've wound your pom-pom around as much as it will humanly possibly go to the point where you're still hopefully able to close it, you're just going to close it up. That will hold your yarn in place. And you're just going to trim off the excess. Then, oh, you're going to repeat the same on the other side. So we're just going to open that up. I repeat everything we just did on that side. These are so easy to make. So let's just carry on with this. I'm going to fast forward this again because I'm just repeating what I did on the other side. Once you are content that both sides are approximately the same, cut your wool again. Close it up. Now what? Literally, now what? We've got two semicircles covered in yarn. You're going to get your scissors and we're just going to snip right in between the pieces of plastic. Be careful not to open it up, otherwise, you'll have a big mess and you'll just have to start again. You want to make sure it's a clean cut, so you've got the edging there, nice clean cut, and just repeat the same on the other side. And there is a pom-pom. Don't look like a pom-pom, right? For one, it's flat. You're going to need some yarn. I'm going to cut off a bit more than I need because this is for someone else and they are going to sew it onto their cushions. And you're just going to place the yarn in between the two green plastic pieces and pull it. Be a bit tight, but you're just going to pull it. And we're going to do a single knot. So to do a single knot, we're just going to knot it and pull it in tight. Make sure it's tight. The tighter it is, the more secure your pom pom is going to be. Then we're just going to wrap around again and single knot on this side. 
you can never make it too secure. Um, Pom-poms are fragile little things. Wrap around again. And this time I'm going to do a double knot to secure the final piece. So I've done two singles and a double knot, making three knots in total. Now your pom-poms complete. You can quite happily take these off with knowing that it's not going to fall apart. And then we're going to pull the two pieces of plastic away from each other because that was going through the center of our pom-pom. Then we're just going to fluff it out. Pom pom. And then you can tidy it up just by trimming off the excess. Uses you can put them onto pillows, put them onto blankets, make a pom pom mat out of it, make a pom pom pillow out of it. Um, yes, you can do what you want. You can even become a cheerleader and make bigger ones. There are different sizes. I was using the second from the smallest of the set. You can put them on bubble hats. Do what you want. Your pom-pom. Do them in multicolours. You know, have different strands coming off all over the place. Just make it into a um, keychain and as you can see it's not going to fall apart very easily but i have to make eight more of these i'll see you next week people enjoy your pom-pom making don't forget to like comment subscribe help me making more bye everyone